being six busted rares and mythics. So let's see if we can do that. And didn't they just auto open before? I guess there's an open now. Thank you for the sub. Looks like a Sultai set of Sultai rares here. Gonna be hard to not play these two, I think. This is kind of whatever this, uh, we'll see what other Planeswalkers we have, but probably not playing this. Well, this is exciting. Is Fibblethip that exciting? This is kind of just like a visionary, right? Bonkers? I mean, yeah, if we're playing a bunch of Planeswalkers, right? I suppose it's a floor of being a 4-4 four, for four, 5 is fine. But Citadel is crazy, yeah. <clears throat> well, let's see if it is in our deck. Let's start by looking at our... Oh, I was going to... Let's look at our Planeswalkers. We have two. Hate Twisted. Yeah, so we're not playing this. We may be playing Arlen. All right, so that's one way to look. Figuring out how to actually look at your cards in Sealed is tough, since uh, there's uh, <clears throat> so many. But one thing to do, uh, I either like looking at Uncommon, we can look at gold, though. Looking at, in a, in a set where it's not just filled with gold, this can help as well. So we see that we have a Leyline Prowler to help with that. Now that makes me want to, and uh, Merfolk Skydiver. The Sultai, I think we're doing, I think we're going to do Sultai. Maybe uh, green, black, splash blue. Although Jace isn't really splash. Now I'm curious to just see if we have uh, Horizon at all. Oh, none. That's too bad. Yeah, Jace is hard to splash. But let's take a look at what black green presents us first as a baseline and then see what we would splash there. So like that, that. That we like toll, maybe even two tolls. The finisher is okay here. <clears throat> I'll put one Obnix in for now, but I don't know if we want both or even the one. Depends on how the deck breaks. Oh, there's uh, ooh, Evolution Sage. Horn Bright. Wrangle some Cronk. Crunches. Uh, spinner's fine. One Grizzly. Yeah. <laughs> Throw this in, throw that in. <clears throat> now we see the blue along with it, and the blue is reasonably strong too. We got one, two, this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, hmm, hmm. Yeah, Nick's like, Nick just wants to play Jace, I think. You, you think, Nick, you're coming at this with an agenda. Acknowledge your agenda, sir. This is not a boring deck. This is just like a good deck. Well, while you think about whether or not we're, well, also let's let us let us look at what we don't, where we're not really considering playing and just success, you know, rule it out. I'm going to start with looking at uh, uncommons in red and white. just to do our due diligence here. And here's the common. So there's three trusted Pegasus. Yeah, there's some stuff there, but nothing compared to what we got going on here. So the real question is, uh, what, what, what are we doing with this stuff? Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna take some bites of my lunch while you figure out what colors we are.
Now, Mo's not really going very far here, is he? Let's see, Crunch has one, two, three, three things. <clears throat> yeah, I could cut a Crunch. We might need it just for the twos, though. Although in this, maybe we just would rather, uh, we can main a forced landing. I'm gonna look at lands. Isn't it supposed to show us basics here? What am I, oh, we have filters on. I wish they, they should show something here that shows filters. We have the blast zone. Probably playing a blast zone. <clears throat> Epiphany. Aid the Fallen can give us, quote, extra planeswalkers for Hydra shenanigans. Hydra's floor is high enough that we're going to run it, but I don't have huge expectations of it. But it might just suddenly get stupid and huge with Arlen or whatever. If we had more counter makers, this would be great, says Will. All right, we don't. Is the... What do we want to do instead? Uh, blue, green, splash, black? But we're not splashing black in that case. There's nothing where, like, blue, black, no splash? Do you want to, do you want to uh, look at a different build here, or are we just refining this one? What do you think? Are we are we officially green, black, splash, blue? If we splash black, what exactly are we splashing? Triple black citadel, citadel, double black ob, double black lich, or splashing our fixer. <clears throat> so that's why I mean I that's why I don't like that raptor. I just don't see where like I can see us maybe going simic. We take a look at a simic build. I just don't see why we're splashing black in simic is all. So let's not cut black for let's let's see how many we'd have to add to replace the black and then see what that replacement suite looks like. That's a lot we're taking out. I don't know if we can, I don't know if we have a deck after that. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of our cards are black. I don't think we have ten blue cards to put in. Or blue and green. One, two, Three, four, five, maybe you do. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, we could do it if we wanted to throw in like a Wrangler or whatever. Should we see what that curve looks like at least? Yeah, the worm's not useless, but uh, uh, I'll keep it out for now as we first take a look at what this looks like without black. Well, let's just do it this way. What are you doing, Ryan? Be faster. Be best. Whatever that means. Also, I want the uh, reset sort. Like, I want to sort by casting cost now, but I don't know how to make it do that.
MTGO's deck builder has a lot of problems. A lot of it's it's overwrought and offers the players too many choices. I think this one just needs a few more choices and it's fine. I'm actually okay even with how like it's probably a blessing in disguise in some respects that really to effectively build a sealed deck on arena you have to trim down your filters a little bit because I think generally people should be looking at their sealed pools through filters as they are uh, working it out. Yeah, this doesn't feel as powerful, does it? You like this, queen? Like, I don't think this need. Like, what I would like to see is figure out how to put quantities back in the columns. I know that it was tough to fit that number, but I... At least give me a rollover. Give me something that I don't have to actually do math on columns to see how many are there. And then give me the ability to reset the sort. And then I actually just wouldn't mind this deck builder at all for sealed. I don't think it's that far off. I think it gets a it's a gets a huge knock, but it's really like it's a tough problem and the solution is there. If you use the filtering, it's not that hard. So I'm gonna bail on this plan. I think we're better off with the black. I think so. We could consider the flux channeler. Oh, we have evolution sage. Not passing that or that. Yeah, I do want to keep the skydiver. <clears throat> and boom, boom. This is the part I don't like. The, the other thing I would add, add is uh, multiple sealed decks, right? If, if you gave me resort, column quantities, and multiple sealed decks, I'd actually be fine with this. I think, I think then they could be done. Okay, this is 40. Do we want to change anything? Let's go. The Flux Channeler maybe not worth it <clears throat> on the splash. We have a uh, Leyline Prowler and Centaur Nurture. So we have two splash supporters in the deck. Yeah. Opportunist over what? If you're gonna offer something in, you gotta say what we're taking out. What's like, what's our worst card? I mean, Grizzly goes long, okay. Mowu will put the fear into them, but it actually doesn't do that much without Pollen Bright Druid. It's probably worth it in sealed because they're playing more bombs, but I don't know about on a splash. I have one force landing in, so you, if you want, oh, you want force landing out to bring the uh, opportunist in. Oh, I'm at thirty nine. Okay, so maybe just a big worm. Maybe that's a little narrow for main deck best of one, and we can do that instead. Wrangler's better. It's still not good, but it's still not bad as a curve filler anyway. I don't hate it as a curve filler, and it makes people scared. I just wish there was another way to get counters on things besides a Pollen Bright Druid, but we really don't have any other way. Yeah, we have like four. It's not a lot. We have one, uh, one, two, three, and then do we have a fourth or do we take it out? I, th I swear I counted four before, or three before. I thought we added a fourth. Maybe we only had two. Oh, Hydra. Sorry, Hydra. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. So, yeah, not a lot, but whatever. 
What about the skydiver? You don't, oh, the skydiver puts a counter on. Yeah, we have two, two, skydiver and pollen bright druid. That actually makes me feel better. It is, it is another one, you know? Uh, what do we call this? Uh, Citadel Sultai. Yeah, we'll cut some islands. Maybe keep one. At least one. Three. Like, maybe we even cut the blast zone, although it, it just... Ugh. I don't know if I can give up on the blast zone here. I was going 8-7 because of the nurture, but really we probably want to go... Uh, Seven eight because of the citadel. Mm. Consider transmute dismissal time twist in place of a two. Let's take a look at that suggestion. Maybe dismissal is good enough, but it really starts to put stress on our so-called splash. Hmm. And we get out something like we just take out the Wrangler. I don't think it's I think we're going to go as is here. I think we're a little light on bombs for sealed, but, and we're also a little light on answers to bombs. I guess we have double toll. Double toll hopefully does some work for us. Let's give this a shot. Wondering if uh, Qs would take a while to fire. I don't think, I doubt uh, Sealed is particularly popular right now. Go to this view for now, I think. Well, this wouldn't have been a swamp if it had been, uh, it would have been a another forest, so that doesn't matter all that much. Can we keep this? It's slow, but this is absurdly slow. If we get a swamp, obviously we're much better off. I'm gonna risk a keep. We might just get completely mowed over, but this is sealed. So I'm gonna, gonna try it. You might be right, Queen. I just might be greedy. Uh, no reason to show the blast zone yet. The only time you can actually do anything is if we have uh, <clears throat> three mana for it. Swamp came just on time for us. That was nice. Fair enough.
there a way out of this? Sorry about that, folks. Didn't want you to hear me eating, and then you didn't hear what I said. Anyway, I was just saying, it's too bad we didn't get a uh, blue for the Hydra, because going Hydra into Arlen would be sweet. <clears throat> Arlen into Hydra is less sweet, but it's all right. Because we'll play Arlen and minus her, so then if we get Hydra after, we get less, fewer counters. Four mana, draw two, gain, like, six is not bad. Always Boo, Citadel gone. Hopefully big stuff is enough. I've said I like big stuff against red-blue, so... They can bounce the worm a bunch, but if they can't counter it... Eventually, it should get there. I'll put counters on this. Obviously, we don't want to do it on two on this board, but I don't think we want to sit there leaving it on one. Oh, that's not what I meant. Closer to island indeed. All right, well, let's try uh, Hydra into Arlen. They might have the counter here. I'd rather have them counter Hydra than the Arlen, though. I'd rather go wide with a bunch of wolves than uh, potentially tall here. Yeah, it might be no escape, but we've got to give them something, right? I guess, I guess we attack first, and then uh, maybe they have something on the attack. We can't sit here not casting stuff. If we had a better board position, we could say, yeah, let's play around no escape until they do something, but we're, we're not in that good of a board position here. And they're drawing extra cards off Jace, left and right. I'll have to erase that memory. <clears throat> uh, no, like, whenever one or more loyalty counters are put on, a pl on Planeswalkers you control, put that, and entering the battlefield puts seven loyalty counters on Arlen. So... Right? Uh, somebody who's played this can confirm that, but my understanding of the rules is Bioessence Hydra, play Arlen, and then it gets seven counters. <clears throat> so uh, we could al also offer the worm. If they, if we're really afraid of the law uh, of the no escape, uh, we could bait with the worm. But if they don't have it, we're really just going to want to go boom, boom. And do we need to bait those scooters? My question, like, because I think Bioessence Hydra countered into Arlen into Worm is also just great, right? Um, <clears throat> but Worm is pretty great. All right, we'll leave, we'll bait with the Worm. Let's see if they got it. They got to counter this if they do, and then having these two back will be nice. Jace being super annoying. 
Draw three cards, gain seven life or whatever so far. Thank you for the sub, Guru. Jay's in the house. Hey, Jay, what's up? We're doing a little sealed while we wait to start our uh, constructed portion. Wrangler showing up at just kind of the wrong time. If we had seven mana, it'd be perfect. Wrangler into Hydra. But we don't have seven mana, and I'm not going to worry about optimizing the Wrangler. Uh, here, probably sending everything into Jace, and they uh, eat Chump and leave Jace at one and draw yet another card off of him. Annoying. This is a format where card quality can trump card advantage, but only to a certain point. You know, at certain certain level, Oppo draws this many cards, and we're in a bad spot. Hmm, Blast Zone to destroy Kazminas is interesting. I'll consider that play... Ooh. Yeah, do we do that? I mean... <sighs> Then Jace takes no damage, but our our worm lives and the prophet die. Too bad it doesn't have. Yeah, maybe I should have just uh, done that from the get go. That's an interesting play, Silver. And then we can drop the Wrangler to boot. And the Reavers aren't doing much. Hmm. All right, yeah, let's make him deal with another worm. I like it. And then I especially like it because we do have the Wrangler play on top of that. Does put us one land off of Arlen. Unfortunately, Jace is unmolested, but we'll get him next time, I guess. <clears throat> yeah, we're just getting buried. Under the card advantage, though. Well, Arlen can catch us up. Or Bioessence can ignore it all and win if they don't have answers. That's not great. Feel the heat of my flames. <laughs> Magnificent! Now what? Jeez. How lucky, though, they got Jace, right? <clears throat> well, we've only got the one play. Who are we attacking? Um, Sarkon? Doesn't matter. I think whoever we attack, it's trading for a an army token. I guess they can block with everything and trade for the worm. I forgot about Sarkon's pinging, but we couldn't not. All right. 
Hydra into a swamp for Arlen. Into Storev, getting back everything we need. They've got pauses suggesting uh, maybe red removal that can't kill a four toughness or plating. Could be plating. Dragon Jace. Hit and face. I don't even know how this works. Can he activate Jace? Yeah, I guess so. Well, give us a land and leave us the Hydra and we might be okay. Land, 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 land. Okay, got the land we needed. If they don't have no escape, we can come back. If they do have no escape, of the wild we're out. In my heart. Maybe they got something else for it. They keep pausing. I just don't know what they have. Uh, I guess we got to take out Sarkon. Or try. Again, they just, they've been hovering over instant speed stuff for so long. That's why I like the time twist. Some of my viewers don't like the time twist. I'm down with the time twist, and that's kind of why. You got powerful planeswalkers, you're going to like a time twist. Let's try this. You sound like me trying to beat you. Look to the skies. Or that. Although the Sarkon, yeah, Sarkon was even active. Yeah, that was just uh, nothing we could do. Yikes. How about one more? We try one more and then we'll uh, we'll get Jay on here and switch to some constructed brewing. Before we do that, though, why don't I ask and, and Jay can start getting his thoughts together. I am going to run a... So for those of you joining us late or who were not here last week or whatever, Jay Schneider is in chat here. He's Giborg. And... Uh, Jay is going to jump onto Skype after we're done with Sealed, and we're going to do some constructed brewing. He has a deck he's been working on all week, and I played it a little bit on stream yesterday. We'll play some of that. But we also want to take some notes from you all about what kind of constructed content is going to make the most sense for this crowd. And I kind of had it broken down into like four, but really there's three buckets. There's basically free-to-play grinding, how to approach uh, building decks to grind with, how to approach making creative decks with a limited uh, quantity of, of wild cards. So, you know, focusing on maybe uncommon build arounds. So, you know, free to play, how to, how to approach grinding, deck building, uh, brewing as a free to play player. Then there's um, the kind of Timmy Johnny mentality deck building where money's no object, but, and really winning isn't the object. It's about winning the way we want to. The way I put it yesterday was like, you know, 40% is okay as long as the wins are sweet, right? So there's that kind of brewing. Brewing to have the most possible fun with your wins. And then there's brewing to actually try to get a competitive advantage within arena, being able to say, well, I play in the uh, ranked, play queue all the time. Its metagame is heavily mono red and this. What do we do to tackle uh, 
a cue with a brewing mentality or for trying to be spiky about it. So I'm going to, to, to identify those three buckets, I'm going to call it uh, free to play, Timmy, although it means Timmy Johnny, and Spike. And I'm curious, uh, I want you to pick the most important thing. It doesn't mean you don't, um, it doesn't mean you don't want to see anything from the other stuff, but I'm just curious, like, what's the most important uh, of those three? What's the category of brewing that's of most interest to you? So we'll give a 30 second poll on F2P, Spike, and T-I-M-M-Y. And let me know what you think. We'll jump back in here. Last zone laughing at us. Being all uncolored. Huh, interesting. I am surprised Spike won too, but that's good to know. That's why I wanted to that's why I wanted to ask. And it's good it's fairly even though. That's that's cool to see as well. So we kinda can touch on everything and Actually, now back to this. Uh, we are a forest away from turn four Storev, and one of the great strengths of the card is that it is over it is undercosted for its body. But if we don't find a forest, like what are we even doing here? We're so far away from this. I think we have to mulligan. This looks much better. And we'll keep that. Yeah, we'll keep asking. I was just curious if there was going to be an overwhelming favorite, and there wasn't. That was uh, good to know. If we don't draw a land, we'll definitely play the Nurturer. If we do draw a land, probably try to go Hydra into Obnix. <clears throat> Didn't even need the blue. But okay, we'll follow through on that plan. Then we can just kill our Hydra to draw two, right? Yeah, let's definitely play the ob. Threat for your conqueror has arrived. And then we'll attack here and here. Might as well threaten Jiang. I'm not gonna even kill this creature. I'll let him uh, use this creature here if they wanted to. Now we have a choice to make. Uh, we can give him two cards for this creature, or we can just uh, let him attack Ob if they think they have the time, but we have a 9-9 Trample, so they've got some business to take care of. Uh, and they're about to go to 10. It's true, it hit him for two more. All right, let's do it. Let's let's put the uh, card quality, or card quantity quality to the test. 
try not to think too hard. This puts them in a spot where, yeah, they need to answer the Hydra right now. They need to do something to eliminate the Hydra or they lose. We could be much greater. Normally, your opponent doesn't uh, give you the you advantage of showing you... Usually, you, you just... Uh, think of Johnny as a bomb all the time, but Oppo did a, did us a favor of showing us how uh, sometimes the bombiest bombs aren't what the, you need, especially when they're planeswalkers. Sometimes a planeswalker just has nothing to do on a board. All right, well, I think we got pretty lucky to... We have only two planeswalkers in the deck, and we have uh, managed to pump up that rare both games all right well we're closing in what do you say we uh we switch gears and i pull pull j 